Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be making our very own calculator app. So this is a fairly simple um, video here, um, it's just sort of implementing a lot of what we have already been talking about, and I'm going to introduce one more thing which you guys might have already been using by now, uh, which is just the idea of um, using other methods and what those methods will entail. So sort of what parameters or arguments that you're gonna need in order to use that particular method. So when we create a new method here, so we have our main method here, which is what is called when we run the program, but we can go ahead and create a new private static void um, add or something like that, right? And then now in our main method here, we can just go ahead and say add with the uh, double parentheses there and then the semicolon to end it off. And then it will run whatever is inside of here. So we are actually going to change this to calculator, because I can spell. So we're gonna change that to calculator. And we're gonna change that to a lowercase. And then we're just gonna call calculator right in here. Perfect, okay. So now what we can do is let's just start implementing everything that we've learned so far. So we're going to learn, so we're going to implement our system outs, our scanners, and then we're also going to implement a new thing here where we check to see if a particular, uh, if we use a particular operator. So let's go ahead and get started. Once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you have some troubles, go over there, check it out. It'll be there. Cool beans. Let's get started. Okay. So first things first is we're just going to go ahead and say system.out.println we're going to say welcome to your basic calculator. We'll just copy this and then now what we're going to say is please input your first number to get started. Okay, pretty easy so far. Like I said, this is going to be pretty repetitive of what we've done. We're just implementing everything that we've done thus far. So let's go ahead and make a new scanner. And again, this takes the system.in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say num1 equals scanner.next double. And we haven't made our doubles yet, so we're going to just go ahead and say double. And it's going. And now we want to use doubles just because if we do divide or multiply integers, we want to make sure that we are getting the closest value to our number because if you make it an int, it's just going to round it. Um, I believe it rounds it down. So we're going to go ahead and say num1, num2, and our answer is all equal to zero right now. So keep in mind that you can do multiple um, casts here. So I can make num1, num2, and answer here and set them all equal to zero since we're all they're all going to be the same, uh, the same thing. So then, next what we can say is we can say system dot out dot print line, please enter a math operator. And now we'll just give them a little guide here. So it'll be this, or this, or this, there we go, or this. And this is all messed up, there we go. All right. So those are our math operators. Well, technically we could go ahead and do or this for modulus. Okay, so then the next thing is we're just gonna go ahead and say scanner. Nope, not scanner, sorry. Well, we are gonna say scanner, but we want to go ahead and say string operator, operator equals scanner dot next, because that's, that's gonna grab the string. And so the next part here is we're actually going to go ahead and Oh, we're going to do this in an if else and else if. Um, probably the best way to do what we're about to do would really be a, a switch case. Um, but we don't know what that is yet. So we're not going to talk about that yet. So now what we have to do is... So now what we have to do is we just have to check to see if our operator equals one of the operators that we just listed above. So we're just going to go ahead and say is operator dot equals we can do equals ignore case you can do equals it doesn't really matter because it's only one letter uh, but we'll just do equals ignore case and now we're just going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to do the 
double pipes and we're just going to paste this a couple of times and then we'll just press enter on, uh, on these here so that way they're all all separate so we can see what we're working with here so if it doesn't equal one of these we obviously need to fix it and we'll go ahead and do this and then we'll say else and we'll just say system dot out dot print line error please enter a valid operator and then we can just go ahead and say starting program over and then now what we can do is we'll just actually make a duplicate of this and then we'll just well we don't have to necessarily do that we can just do backslash n and it'll create a new line uh so now what we're going to do is we can actually recall this method here now i don't think a lot of people actually realize you can do this but you can call the method that you're working in inside of the method that you're working in so pretty neat so it's just going to start the program completely over but if it does equal one of these operators we need to go ahead and well get the number two so we can say you oops might help if we do system dot out dot print and you have chosen two and then we'll do this we'll say operator your numbers now you could make a, a pretty quick uh check to see which one it is and say divide multiply add but i'm lazy i don't really need to do it just for more or less um play up i guess so what we need to do now is basically say you got to pick your second number so system that out the print line please enter your second number and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and set num2 equal to scanner dot next double. Great. So now what we can say if operator, oops, operator dot equals, ignore case, again, could, don't have to necessarily do equal to ignore case. We're gonna do this and then we're just going to say answer is equal to num1 plus num2. And then we're just going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to say else. We're going to paste it. Now we have our else if. We're going to say if it's divide, we're going to divide or subtract. Now if it's divide, we are going to divide. And if it is multiplication, we are going to multiply. And then if it is modulus, we are going to do modulus. Oops, wrong one. Great. And so now what we can do is we can say system, oops, system dot out the print line and your, oops, I have if we make this a string, print line, your answer is, and then we'll just do a little space and we will say answer. So let's run this. <clears throat> okay. So welcome to your basic calculator. Please input your first number to get started. So let's go ahead and say 10. Great, so now let's choose our operator. We didn't finish this off, so we can just fix that really quick and then we'll check it again. Uh, and we're gonna divide, or we're gonna multiply. And then you have chosen to times your numbers. Please enter your second number and let's say 10. Look at that, and our answer is 100. So let's just start this over again here so we can just see that this is fixed. So please input my first number. And now you could make a check to see if your scanner is an actual number. So that way you don't have these giant errors here. Um, again, that's sort of just a, a check on um, about statement. You can do it if you want, I'm not going to. So let's just go ahead and run this again. So please input first number and let's do, uh, let's do 1.34 and let's add it to two and we get 3.34. So our calculator does work. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, it is a short one. This code will be on GitHub. I don't put all the code on GitHub just because it's not all really necessary. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.